I play uh, the evil queen, the infamous evil queen from Snow White, and I also play Mayor Regina, um, who rules this fictional town called Storybrook in Maine. I play Rumpelstiltskin, and I also play Mr. Gold, who runs this fictional town in Storybrook. No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Is it fun playing sort of bad guy characters? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Tons of fun. I do like playing a good guy. And, and it's, fun, it's fun working together as villains. It's, it's been a joy. Um, it's it's yes, it's, it's been great. We're going to run off into the hills together. I think that's what's going to happen. Into an evil hillside somewhere. You know? oh, we're going to cause <laughs> havoc. And is it satisfying as actors being able to play two characters and sort of find the differences between them? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've never really done that before, but I guess, I mean, I certainly enjoyed it in the pilot. Looking forward to doing a bit more of that. I mean, it's, it's almost like every actor's dream. You're like, wait, I want that role. No, I want that role. Wait. Yeah. I get Uh-oh. both, so <laughs> it's been it's been a lot of fun, and I think um, for for both of us, if you don't mind, I think we've both um, are if we haven't already, and we will continue to, but we're on the journey <laughs> to continue keeping um, you know these characters connected, but also showing contrast between the two, which I think is is interesting, you know, and and they are the same. Mm-hmm. But they then, come they're, from the but same then they're not. Yeah, they come Both from the same. Split off slightly. They do split off, but there is. Um, but you said into the previous linear. interview that I think is, is brilliant. I think there's more. There's probably more danger in Storybrook than there is in Fairy Tale Land. Yes. You know what I mean? And the characters are probably more dangerous in Storybrook than they are in Fairy Tale Land. It's kind of like it is our world. Danger of the real world. Why we dream of fairy tales and the enchanted forest and gingerbread houses. And if you could sum up the series and sell it in a sentence, why should we tune into Once Upon a Time? Lana Penny is (laughs) brilliant. (laughs) That's I can't argue with that. No. (laughs) Um. (laughs) I would say it's 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 going to work across the board. I think that's the the the, the kind of the, the obvious thing to say, but it's true. I think it can work for sorry, work for children and it'll work for adults alone. And I know I can I witness that myself. I watched it with my two kids, two of my kids who are seven and nine, and my mother-in-law and my nanny. And everybody loved it, and they all get different things from it. And I thought, well, that's great. It's the first thing I've probably ever been involved in that might play right across the board. That's interesting. And that, I, I was an English major. It was a one sentence answer. And. Um, <laughs> <laughs>